If you're after a real pedigree boat that'll look after you at sea, where would you go to these days? Rustler Yachts in Cornwall are one that, that would provide that niche to a lot of people. They're the uh, Holman & Pie Design 36 would top a lot of people's wish lists. Long keel boat now, so it's quite small in volume these days. But Rustler have come out with a new version, a Stephen Jones Design 37, which offers more volume, but it still keeps a lot of the traditional features that people will be looking for in a seaworthy design. For example, a deep cockpit, rig with parallel spreaders, an encapsulated keel means you get all the tanks in there in, in the centre of, of weight in the right place, and a skeg hung rudder. We've come here to Falmouth to put her to the test. A counter stern, spoon bow, nice shear line, traditional features. It's also nice to have a boat that you can step on as well thanks to a low freeboard. Stephen Jones is a bit of a magician when it comes to conjuring a lot of internal space for the length of the boat. So this is a 37 foot boat, but look at the size of this forward cabin and this berth. You've got, by using a sail locker up forward, it pushes that headboard back there, so you're not fighting for space on a berth. And it's an important thing for a couple to have a, a decent size in port cabin. And it's also got tons of storage throughout, so there's a wardrobe and cupboards and wardrobe and plenty of locker space in here. There's even a chart drawer below the uh, below the berth here. Um, and there's lots of examples of where Rustler's craftsmanship shines through. Let me show you. Good sized dedicated chart table, especially for this size boat. Nice deep chart drawer. Little just bespoke carpentry features here, like a, a, a rack for your pencils and dividers. And then look at the attention to detail in here. It's switchboard opens out. Easy to get at all the wiring and easy for maintenance. Although it's a couple's boat, there is the option to have uh, a double berth on the port side of the saloon. And also here on the sofa on the starboard side, there's a double trotter box. So you, that does actually make a sea berth here if you want it as well. Again, because it's centered around a couple, you get a really good sized galley, loads of storage, really easy to work here. There's lots of places that you can wedge yourself. Um, heated wet weather locker in here. This is a nice area. This is the um, engine room below us here, right in the center of the boat. So you can sit here, you put your boots on, take your wet weather kit off, put that in there in the locker and everything is easy to move around uh, at sea. I mean, this is really solid joinery work and, and carpentry all through the boat so you're never trying to fall across a boat. You've always got fiddles and handrails to, to grab hold of. It's a very safe boat at sea.
Okay, we've just come back into harbour and we've had some cracking Cornish conditions really. 18 to 25 knots, sun and a bit of swell. We've done a lot of different angles and what's really shone out is, is what, I, what I was hoping would. It, the boat's really looked after us. Um, you'll notice the cockpit is still bone dry and it, and it was all the way through. It's, the, the cockpit really looks after the crew and and from a, from a helm point of view it's easy to get at what you need so it's comfortable to sit behind or stand behind the wheel to windward or leeward. It's nice to be able to reach the main sheet winch and the primary so you can easily let off the main and you can trim you can trim the jib as well by sitting in front of the wheel if you need to. But um, I think what, what really shone out was not it's not about electrifying speeds or anything like that. It's about the consistency. She keeps a really kind emotion through the seas. And, and despite whatever angle we're at, it was consistent and it was a really pleasant motion. As you can tell, I really didn't want to stop. I just wanted to keep going. It's that sort of boat. She'll really look after you.